Hello viewers and welcome back. Today I have a little short video for you and I'm calling this Tales from the Free Pile. And this little fellow we have in front of us is a rigid wet dry shop vac that was on the free pile. I was driving around and I found this on the side of the road and somebody decided this was not good enough for them anymore so they decided to toss it out. Now I'm not one to let good things go to waste. I don't like letting more junk go into the landfill if it can be I mean, saved <laughs> or repurposed and given a, a new life. So this looks fairly complete. It has the hose. This is exactly the way I picked it up. You're looking at it just as I'm looking at it right now for the first time. I just took it out of the back of my truck and I'm looking to see what's up with it. Will it work? Will it not work? I have a rigid shop back already. I have a 6 uh, horsepower, 12 gallon, also I believe it is. So this is slightly smaller, but no big deal. A good shop back is a good shop back. You never know when you're going to need one or two or three or what have you. So uh, let's see if this guy will work or not work. Is it a uh, terminal case? Is it uh, going to die? Is it going to survive? If it works, great. If it doesn't, it'll become spare parts for my other rigid. So let's see what uh, what it'll do. Let me uh, set up the camera and we'll test it out. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's uh, take off the hose so we see what we're working with. Undo the cord. It does look fairly complete, so let's see if it works. Plug it in. And let's see, magical moment here, let's go. Well, it works. It works. I don't see anything wrong with it so far, except it wobbles a little bit. And it's kind of filthy, and it's a little old, but it's an oldie but a goodie. That's the way I look at it. So let's see here. Let's, uh, first of all... Has good suction, no problem there. Seems to be okay as far as I can tell. And let's open it up. And on the inside, it still has the filter in there. Kind of dirty, but it's still all there. No missing parts. Alright, the only problem I can see right now is that one of the casters is missing. One of the casters is missing, right there. The other three are still here, and it's unbelievable that somebody threw it away just because of a broken wheel. This is why I hang on to stuff. I have a pile of these casters just lying around, because when I get to the point that I can't save something, it begins to be so far gone that there's nothing I can do with it, then I'm making it to an organ donor. It will donate its parts so another machine can live. And that's the way I take care of uh, all my old stuff. So I'm going to pull out some of my old casters and we'll fix this right up. Okay, and we're back. So I went through my pile of casters and I rummaged around. And I looked at all the different sizes that I have. And these are what came the closest. Now, this one, the shaft is too small. Let me uh, show you right here. If we pull out the shaft here, this is the shaft with the missing wheel. The shaft on this one is way too small, so that's not going to do the trick. The shaft on this one is almost about right, almost about right. The only problem is the wheel is kind of small. Let's compare the two wheels here. You see the wheel is a little smaller than the original. This one here, the wheel is the right size. You can see there. The wheel is almost identical. Perfect size. Only problem is, the shaft is wrong. You see the shaft is too short and too fat. So that will not fit in there. And we can't really, let me get this in here. We can't really bore it out, make it bigger, because you see it has a finite thickness to it. So the minute I start trying to, you know, drill into that, open up the hole a little bit or anything, it is going to break out. 
it's not a solid surface that I can expand out further. So this wheel is a no-go. Cannot put it in there. Look at, uh, let me get this here. Look, you can see the thickness difference of the hole. It will not go in there. So for the time being, until I find a better one, we're going to have to go with this one. Even though the wheel is a little bit smaller, the shaft will fit and uh, it will roll around probably. I'll put it in and we'll find out soon enough, but I'm guessing it will roll around good enough to make it work and um, I may just not push it all the way up, leave it a little down to compensate for the difference in the wheel and it might work just fine. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to use both hands to put that in there because it's a little stiff since obviously the top of the shaft you can see on here top of the shaft is a little bit bigger on that one than on the other one so I'm gonna have to use both hands let me set up the camera and I'll be right back okay so we're back here now so I have the wheel in hand let's uh, get that guy in there and see how it works It doesn't want to go all the way in, but that may be sufficient. That may be good enough to uh, get it to work pretty much evenly with the other wheels. Uh, I probably could bore it out. Uh, maybe I'll lubricate it if I have to, but I could grind down the metal shaft on here a little bit if I have to. Or maybe bore this out a tiny little bit just to get it to go in. But right now, let me stand it up and see if it works. Well, look at that. That works beautifully. Let me uh, let me get the camera. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to the action cam now. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, I don't want to make you guys sick, but here we go. Let me show you. This is the wheel, which is a little bit off. It's sticking way down, but it's about the same distance down as the other one when you compare the two. So it seems to be like that may work just fine, at least for the time being. Down the road, I may find another wheel that'll fit this even better. But right now, it seems to roll around just fine. Problem solved. If that's the reason they threw it away, then I just fixed the problem. So, as you can see, Problem solved. I'm not going to put a lot of stress on that wheel, but it, it'll do the trick. Now, for the grand finale, I'm going to go take this outside and clean it up, and I'll show you what it looks like after a good cleaning. A little soap and water, and this will look like new. They'll be back in a minute. Okay, everybody, so we're back in the shop, and as you can see, I just finished cleaning it. It's still a little damp, but you can see she's nice and clean now. So we took an old ratty machine and turned it into something nice and usable. <laughs> anyway, so she's nice and clean. Let me show you the inside, and then I'll give you a couple more details. Be right back. And here we go. Now you can see a shot of the inside. The inside is nice and clean. Look how bright that orange is. The outside is a bit faded, but the inside still looks good. And the inside of the bucket, nice and clean. And I got to tell you, this shop back looks, when I started cleaning it, well, you saw the mess it was. And when I started cleaning it, I don't think it's been cleaned in maybe like uh, never. Because it was a river of black. It was filthy. And, you know, some people will do that. Instead of cleaning stuff, they'll just throw it away. And that's, you know what, if you got that much money, more power to you. But, on the other side, i got to say, that's rather wasteful. And um, I'm all about conservation. So, I like to conserve old things. You know, I started doing stuff like this before recycling was fashionable. It's called repurposing. So, let me put it back together, and I'll show you again. Actually, before I put it back together, I almost forgot. Let me give you an update. As Professor Farnsworth likes to say, Good news, everyone! I found another wheel 
So I took off the old one, the little one with the long shank on it, and I found another wheel which is identical. I, when I was cleaning this, I thought to myself that there was another stash that I had somewhere else that I had completely forgotten about. And even though it doesn't have this cover on the outside, which is irrelevant, the size of the wheel is the same, and the shank is the same. So, let me pull, see if I can pull it out one-handed. Come on, little fella. Nope, I can't. Hold on. So you can see the shank is the same on it. Just like this little one. Just like the little one. But this wheel is bigger. So it fits perfectly. That's why I hang on to old stuff. And sometimes I forget where I put it all. <laughs> but here we go. Let's put you back inside. And I'll, I'll snap it back in place in a minute. But let me put it all back together for you and give you a final shot. So here we go. Here's a final shot for you. Uh, before we go, though, I'm thinking to myself, I know what you guys are saying when you're looking at this and you're probably thinking... You know what? It's nice and clean and all, and it'll work, but that thing is faded as heck, and it looks ugly. I don't think I would ever want to use that machine or use it on a workshop somewhere because people would laugh at me. Well, what I would say to you is, you're one demanding little buddy, aren't you? But that's okay, I like you anyway. So, what I would say after that is, clear coat, my friend. Clear coat is the solution to everything. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to give this a shot of clear coat and I'll bring you back as soon as it's dry. Okay, and we're back. So you can see I clear coated it. It looks a heck of a lot better. I mean, yes, grant you, it's not perfect, but the black came back a lot. The orange came back a little. Not a lot. In a case like this, some orange spray would make it look practically new. But I don't need to go that far. The clear was not a big deal. I have it lying around. I don't have orange. And the clear has a double benefit. On old plastic things like this, when they start to get brittle, the, the clear will protect them. Because clear has UV protection, and it holds the plastic together. And it doesn't allow it to keep uh, rotting away like plastic normally will. So a little clear coat will have, help this plastic stay nice and uh, soft and pliable and keep it from cracking and breaking. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video into the world of fixing free stuff. And like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video. So for now, see you later. Bye-bye.